and this is the Riding 360 View mirror mounted dash cam. And on this video, I'm going to show you what you get inside of the box as well as all of its features. And the main component is the digital mirror, which features a frameless design so you can see how the glass goes from edge to edge, giving it a very nice classy look. And the 360 View uses a Sony sensor that enables this dash cam to record 360 degrees around it. And the memory card is hidden underneath this panel and Riding has already included a 32 gigabyte memory card, but this dash cam supports memory cards as large as 512 gigabytes. Moving over to the accessories, we get a GPS antenna for tracking our location on our speed. And to power the 360 view, they have included a cigarette lighter adapter plug. And we also get this cable to connect an optional rear camera. And we also get a microfiber cleaning cloth, an installation spatula, a mirror adhesive, and also this tiny little screwdriver to access the memory card. And for documentation, we get a quick reference guide, but we also get a full length manual in English and in full color. And to mount this dash cam to the mirror of our car, they have included this Velcro system to secure this to the vehicle, but Raiden also carries a direct mount fit kit that allows us to eliminate the Velcro straps and upgrade this to a direct style mirror for a clean OEM finish. And if you did not want to use a cigarette lighter adapter plug, Raiden also carries a hard wire kit for the 360 view that also enables the parking monitoring function of the vehicle and has very low power consumption and if you do get the optional rear camera, it is waterproof so it could be mounted outside of the vehicle and it comes with a very long extension cord to reach the back of most vehicles. And riding also carries two optional mounting brackets that can give us more flexibility as far as mounting or aiming the camera. And this dash cam is always recording our surroundings in 360 degree view and we can move the camera around if we wanted to see what that recording is going to look like. Now we are able to move the camera both before and after recording. And I'll show you what the cabin view looks like. There I am. <laughs> Again, it doesn't matter where I leave the camera pointing to, it's always gonna be recording all of it. Now we do get additional view modes. We can click and show this split view mode where we can have two different views. And we also get a three view mode where I can have one perhaps pointing towards passenger, maybe this one towards the driver and this one towards the front. And if you don't need 360 degree video, you can also prioritize the front recording with this super wide mode. Notice how big this mode is. Now we are capturing the entire front of our car and the sides as well. And we can also play back the videos that we have previously recorded. And again, notice that I can move the angle even though this video has already been recorded, which I think is the magic of 360 degree video recording. And finally, we get a settings menu where we can customize this dash cam, including customization of the potential add-ons for the 360 view in case you want to take your 360 view to the next level.